Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to be talking about the five ways you should inspect vinyl records before you buy them. Basically, this is a short list of what to look for and what to avoid. But before we get to that, I made another video about the best way to clean your vinyl records, which is another important part of the post record buying process. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out. All right, so you're at your favorite local record shop on a beautifully sunny day and you're ready to crate dig in the bargain bin section. Now, these records are usually not sealed, so you can freely take them out and inspect them. But where do you start? Well, as I mentioned, there are five main things that you should look for. First, you should check out the album cover. If its cover is starting to brown or looks pretty beat up, odds are good it's an older album. But if the cover looks pretty fresh, then usually it's a newer album. But never judge a record by its album cover. If the cover catches your eye, you should take out the record and have a closer look. The second thing is pretty obvious. If the record is cracked or broken, then it's completely ruined. There's no hope for it. You can't glue the pieces together. It's just not worth it. So save yourself the trouble and just put it back. Now, the third thing you're gonna to wanna to look for is dust and dirt. Is the record covered in dust bunnies and dirt particles? If it is, don't worry, you still might be able to clean them off. I've had some records that were pretty dirty when I bought them, but after a simple cleaning, they played like new. So don't let a little dust or dirt discourage you. Number four is scratches. And unfortunately, you cannot remove these by cleaning. Scratches are a record's worst enemy. So if the record you're holding is covered in them, then it's better to just leave that record alone and move on. But how can you tell if the record has scratches? Records are usually black shiny vinyl and sometimes it's hard to see the smaller scratches. Well, the best way to check for scratches is to actually hold the record up to the light and slowly angle it so that the overhead light wraps around the surface of the record. Hold it just like this and gradually, very slowly kind of angle it and just pivot it just like this. And what you're doing is you're watching the record grooves and you do it very slowly, and as the light wraps around, you'll be able to see those darker parts of the record grooves, and you can check for scratches. This will reveal the smaller scratches. So just do it just like this, very slowly and very carefully, and go around the entire record groove. You'll uh, make sure that it doesn't have any smaller scratches, and if it does, put it back. That method that I just showed you is easy, it's effective, and it's gonna protect you from buying scratched records. And finally, the fifth thing that you should check for is warps. A bad warp will cause the record needle to jump the groove every time it rotates around, which is awful, so you do not want that. The best way to check for warps is to hold the record at eye level, whether horizontal or vertical, and look at the edge of the record. And then look at the label and see are they on the same level. If they are, then you're good. But if one is higher or lower than the other, then odds are good that you have a warp. Now, if you've checked all five of those things and your record is good, then by all means, take that vinyl home, clean it and spin it. Have you guys used these methods? Have they worked for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more, join the Vinylize community, give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great stuff every Thursday and Saturday that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Also, be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All the links are in the description below. And most importantly, friends, keep spinning that vinyl.